So awesome. Colorado Ballet has been rehearsing its first production of the season, Swan Lake. The ballet is moving into dress rehearsals this week in preparation for opening night on Friday. And joining me now is Gil Boggs, Artistic Director of Colorado Ballet. Thanks for joining the show. Thanks for having me. Michelle. All right, this is exciting. Of course, uh, Swan Lake, one of the most popular ballets, I would say, ever. Tell us about the production of it this year. Well, last night we put it on stage for the first time and it's absolutely stunning. The orchestra sounds magnificent. The choreography that's there uh, is wonderful. Sets and costumes, just overwhelming. Yeah, you are coming out of the gate pretty strong this season with Swan Lake. Um, it's a challenging ballet. Tell me why. Well, for the, I guess the biggest reason is for the ballerina, who is Odette Odile. She plays two characters right. in the same evening, and she's a good swan in the second act and an evil mean swan in the third act, and then she comes back as a, a Odile in the fourth there. But I guess really the second act, when I have 27 ladies in tutus, I call them my 27 swans on stage, and the choreography, the unison that they have to do in the formations is just stunning. Well, it is. And it's stunning and it's beautiful, um, but the set is huge too, right? It's, it's, it's over, I won't say overwhelming, but it's, it's eye candy. <laughs> oh, well, speaking of some candy, uh, you're going to perform the Nutcracker during the holidays this I year. I think we'll do that again. Yeah, yeah, every year, right? Every year. Yeah, every year. So what can the audience, audiences expect for that? Uh, it's going to be the third year of our new sets and costumes, which we did, uh, made during the pandemic, and they're just, they're again, they're beautiful. And uh, otherwise, I don't think we're going to change much because it just sells out every year. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely want to just keep it traditional, right? Sugar right. Plum Fairies and all? Exactly. Okay. Uh, what does the rest of the season look like? After Nutcracker is maybe the production I'm most excited about is Jekyll and Hyde. And uh, yeah, it's dark, mysterious, uh, you know, for our older, mature audience, you know, so we're saying, you know, 13 and above. And I think it's going to really appeal to our Dracula fans oh. as well. Okay, why is it, why are you most excited about that one? It's, it was done in Finland during the pandemic. Val Canaparoli choreographed it, and we are bringing it here from Finland mm -hmm. to perform. And uh, it's just, it's it's unusual. It's not it's not a Swan Lake at all. It's you know it's deep, it's dark. Uh, even though there's two yes. different sides to the even though, person, exactly. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like an exciting season. Yes. Thanks so much for coming on the show Thanks, telling Michelle. us all about it. And uh, remember, Colorado Ballet is 2023-24 season uh, starts very soon. And Swan Lake, it starts October 6th. It runs through the 16th? 15th. The 15th. There you go. We want to get that right. And we have a link to buy tickets at cbscolorado.com.